Thanks, Mister. Next time. You're a dead man. So much for the new weapon. Hey, who the devil are you? Far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cat. I said, get out of here. Damn French. <laughs> Why know why I did that? Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Uh. my money it's only temporary this will all be sorted out soon I promise hey the whole saloons overrun with rats I'm losing business left and right I need to get someone to get rid of them for me I'll pay very well I just need it done all right calm down let me see what I can do oh thank God just be sure not to bang around the place too much I'll wait out here.
hell. You really let it rip in there. Had to keep some back for repairs. Fair enough. Just fine. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? It's awful in here. I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. A little can go... Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I really appreciate it. Glad to see you again, hey, sir. Hey, be careful. So, how may I help you today? Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Oh, uh, nothing much back there, I'm afraid. Just a few old books. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Come on, you don't have to clean me out. I'm really not a bad man. Don't tell the police, please! This is my brother's door. I I'm just watching it while he's away. ¿Quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. 
Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Por favor. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Good to see you again. It's him. All right, he's low down bastard. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. I want you to ask yourself, do I consider myself pure? And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you, I need you, to be pure. Hello. Hello, sir. You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? 
Hello. Okay. Read it. Really interesting stuff. I explain, using real science, why we whites are under attack, and what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean, white people are the same. And all the other races are trying to kill us. I don't want to die, sir. I got friends who's Mexican, friends who's Indian, known blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. You, sir, are a real fool. How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural born days. This man believes people are equal. Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Oh, my lord! I've never seen anything like that before. Hey, now, try to look at A blind man. Mm. Oh, is, is someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. You were blind. What? Oh, uh, uh, now you must be thinking of another blind fella. Damn me! Oh, come on, it's just a few coins. You piece of shit. They gonna let you get away with this? I'm just trying to get by here. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Okay, okay, I ain't really blind. Just take it easy. I'm really a beggar, <laughs> really.
I'll be right over. I don't even want to know where that money came from. What can I do for you? I'm shocked you didn't get jump walking in here with that kind of price on you. Thank you. Really. Por favor, it's warm, W, an upside down M. I, I don't get it. Oh, you will. It, it's like swimming, it takes time. But then it's easy, and the whole world opens to you. I hate this. It's too hard. Take your time. I lick, I lick. Like. I like the soon. Sooner. God damn it. What does that even mean? Watch your language, please. Summer. Summer. I like the summer. Don't worry. You know the letters. You know the sounds. You're nearly there. I got no use for stupid books. I don't have any use for stupid books. If you ain't, why are you making us do it? No, you should say, I don't have any, not, I got no. <laughs> I think you may be confusing things a little now, Brother Dorkins. <sighs> Go over it first in your head. Take your time. Worry, you're doing very well. Hey, partner. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, uh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Oh, no! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. That said Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ah, now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help.
Trying to make me uncomfortable? Every day. That's a new challenge, Father. What? Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, I did. I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins challenged him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Was there something else, Mr. Morgan? I would hate to keep you. Something wrong or what? Ah, excuse me, bud. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, nope. strong liquor. Over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of you shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch, and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Come on!
One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Creepy bastards! Yeah.
time. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Ramp here, stranger's got a go. There. It's me, the hero return. Yeah. Uh, I take it you're aware that you're covered in blood. Can't wait to taste this. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. How you doing? Hopefully, this will help a bit. Good job, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Marston. What are you up to? You recovered? I'll be fine. But thank you, Arthur. How you doing, Abigail? My, my, I do like this new haircut of yours. Uh, blame Trelawney.
Hey there, Charles. How are you, John? How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well. I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now. The trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. You know, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Crystal Boys are coming!
I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said it's everyone accounted for! Mrs. Adler, she's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Hey, we got us a lady over here. Get out there. She's in trouble. Hold on. We need you in the house, Mrs. Sandler. Oh, no, they don't. I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taken care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. 
That's what love has done to her, I guess. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure, Arthur. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. To Ken? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Hi, Reverend. Hello, Charles. Easy, killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, O'Driscolls, Pinkertons. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? You okay? I thought we were safe here. <sighs> Never make that mistake. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. <laughs> oh, Mr. Morgan! I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. Thanks, Pearson. Yeah! 